everyone in this video I will be customizing this little wallet I will be using acrylic markers throughout this process I hope you come along with me and grab your hot beverage and let's get painting this is a sketch I created in Photoshop I wanted to play around with the colors and really get familiar with the character this is Brigatito from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so once I did that in Photoshop, I was able to print just the line art of that sketch and I did it to the size of the wallet so this way I can go ahead and cut around this little figure and kind of use it as a stencil. Once I have my little stencil, then I can go ahead and sand the surface of this wallet because it's too smooth and even with a gesso primer, I believe that it's better off if I just go ahead and sand it first. For those of you who are new here, welcome! My name is Karen and I'm a multimedia artist. I really hope that these videos serve you as inspiration for your own creative process. So once I have my gesso completely dry, I go ahead with my white Prismacolor pencil and trace around this little figure that I cut before. This helps me a lot when it comes to sketching the character. So here comes the fun part. For this painting I will be using the Artix acrylic marker set. I mostly use this pastel one. Um, I have two sets. <laughs> the pastel colors and the bright colors this pastel one has such pretty gamma of colors it's just so beautiful i actually saw mira Byler review this acrylic markers they have like a brush nib versus most acrylic markers that have like a bullet nib or some have a chisel nib so i was immediately interested in trying these I will be leaving a link down below in the description for Mia Byler's video so you can watch what a beautiful, amazing work she did with these markers. Now I'm just filling in the silhouette with the white marker so this way I have a brighter surface to work with. And I go ahead and do the background before I sketch in the character. And now we start painting. The downside with these markers, I must say, is that they don't come labeled by name. Uh, sometimes I find that very helpful so you know what colors are your favorite, but for this instance, I will call this color Pastel Aqua Green. And that's the one that I used for the most part of this character. The character originally has very warm, very bright greens, but I wanted to stay more in the cool side for this little painting. So I used a lot of that aqua green and this blue forest green. 
Another amazing thing about these markers, it's not only does it come with 30 different shades, each one of these sets, but it also gives you that ability to mix and blend your colors as you go which gives you a much, much wider variety of colors. have blocked in all the colors in place it's time to see this little character come alive by adding that fine liner I will be using black around the edges and in between the figure because I didn't want it to be too stark and too deep I will be using a deep purple for the inside lining I will be varnishing this with an acrylic matte varnish just because my daughter will be using this as a little purse so it's more prone to scratches and scuffs so I'd rather be preventive and apply that extra coating. Now the varnish has dried and here's the finished piece. I hope you like watching the process of this little customized painting and I hope I see you here for my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful day.